Hey, what's up, beautiful people? There's something that has been happening now in Kenya and for, for the past, like, before the American or the U.S. election. It happened. And you know what? Trump has now become the president. And now we, we men in here, we as men here in Kenya, we are going to, to rest. You understand? You know, it's the other day I was trying to, to, to toast some girl, some lady there. And they say, do you know what? You ain't rich. You ain't having money. You don't do, you, you, you don't come to me. You know, we are going to have the first black female president, president to, uh, for the United States of America. And I told my friend, women, I want to become a president. You know, the way they, these women were just bragging, you know, the way they were bragging and telling, telling all kind, calling us all kind of names. They were bragging and said, no, if you don't have money, don't, you, who are you? Trump cannot be a president. Now that Trump is the president of the United States of America, the 47th, and I told them, we will see, we will meet after, this, after the elections. We will see. And who is going to take it home? You understand? So, you know, um, women have been bragging. They, they, they calling names. They said, oh, you cannot do this. You cannot do that. This is not for America. Okay. Now, go to America. And you know, the, 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 the American ambassador to Kenya is a woman. You know how she has been... She has been driving the government crazy, you know. Now the Kenyans want that woman to be changed. They now want Trump to change that woman to take. Because they have been, they have been colluding with the government. And uh, giving us, like, just when they immediately, immediately they meet with Trump, with, with, with Ruto, that woman, they, you see Ruto going to the IMF to go and take loans. That's a burden to us. You understand? So it has happened. And you know one thing, it's still a long way for women to become president, either in Kenya and in the United States of America. You understand? And I have something, one thing, one thing to tell these people. Women are capable to become good leaders. But the problem is they try to choose they, they try, they leave away or they leave out the smart women, women who has, uh, who has, who has something to offer, you understand? Because there's, there's been a lot of things going on around like, uh, let's women lead, let's give, okay, giving power is something, having power and leading, being a leader is totally different, you understand? What are these women going to deliver? Are we just going to vote because of sympathy, out of sympathy, hmm? are we just going to vote out of sympathy? Do we just do you just want us to sympathize with these women? You you get a, a weaker opponent, and we just sympathize. Oh, he's going to be the first female president of this country, the first female black president. The woman is even even herself is not even black, and to make even matter ones women people who tend to give them power they're like they have destroyed a lot of things see kirinyaga is destroyed see home even in ke homa bay destroyed there's nothing ongoing nothing well is going on in these places and people claim that let's elect them let's make them the first the first the first we don't want to build history we want to build the economy we want to build the government we want to build a future for our kids we have to have we, have, we 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 want to have a free and a corrupt nation. You understand? It's not it's not all about women being being in leadership. But what are they going to offer in these positions or in these places of leadership? They want we they want to be in. You understand? That's the biggest question. So, my fellow women, when you thought that oh we have Kamala Harris, we have who and who we have so and so. We are not voting. Nowadays, this generation, we are tired of doing things out of sympathy. You understand? See how mismanagement and, uh, and, and bad leadership is taking us everywhere. Because we vote of, because of sympathy. We sympathize too much. So that we even forget that we need to have something important for ourselves. We need to have 
good uh, we have we don't have the good facilities around so when people think that we are just going to vote out of sympathy for my for me in my life i'm saying that i will vote a woman in or i will vote anyone in as long as they have something important to offer not just voting out of sympathy maybe because of his brother died and his brother was a politician your brother was a good politician not you you understand we are not rewarding you that thing because your brother was a good person and he was a politician and he never finished his term you understand and it's also high time you stop campaigning using your own money and you bribing people when you lose you become wild and you don't even want to greet us if you lose election come and greet us come and eat with us say man we try we will even congratulate you you did your you gave it your best but if you gave it your best you only make you only wanted money to talk and you become here and, and you turn out to be a bad leader we are coming for you so thanks for watching this and kenyan lady now we are not going anywhere. We have Trump as the new president. And you get to know this. You are the same same people who never voted Martha Karawa in. Hmm? You never voted Martha Karawa in. How many people? How many how many times that woman vied for president? Even if she was a running man. You never voted. You never voted her in. Now you claim that things are going to happen. Where? Not now, man. Take your time. Thanks for watching. It's Lovey Talks. See you in my next video.